So when you talked about, you know, you, you changed the food and you started adding the coconut oil and, you know, you ended up going back to your grandmother in the Philippines and asking about the difference. Because that's a question that we get often, very often, probably probably every time we talk about coconut oil in the store, it's like, well, what is the difference in what you carry versus what I can go buy at the local grocery store? And, you know, in in our work, all of us, we're very, very concerned with sourcing. We're very concerned with manufacturing processes. You know, that's not I mean, that's for any product that we're recommending. So could you talk about your sourcing and, and manufacturing and what things our listeners should be listening for and looking for when they are wanting to incorporate coconut oil? Right. So we source the coconut oil um, directly from our farms in the Philippines. And if you notice, our oil is not only certified organic, it's non-GMO verified. It's very strict. Yes. They, we trace our coconuts directly to the farm, to the lot, to the tree where it comes from. So we're very nice. picky. Um, so our, our coconuts are grown in volcanic regions, not like sandy beaches. So soil makes a huge yeah. difference. Temperature mm -hmm. makes a huge difference. And I think people know this in terms like for apples, for example. Apples grown in Washington State are very different from other places. Yes. So And it also depends on how long they've been in the tree, when they're picked, if it's, is it ripe, is it picked too early? So it makes that difference. So for our coconuts, we pick their tree ripened for a year. So they're not wow. picked before then. And mm -hmm. once they are picked, we open and process them with uh, less than 24 hours when you do that. Whereas other farms, to save money, they can scrape the coconut inside and they dry it. They actually dry it. And when they're ready mm -hmm. to make oil, they reconstitute it with water. Mm -hmm. And then that's so yours has press. moisture in it naturally. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Just, it's, well, it, it's, it's called or, wet milled. So what happens is you milled. grate the coconut, right? So you have coconut that's wet. Maybe. We don't dehydrate it at all because we don't want to rehydrate it with water because that kind of dilutes the coconut. Um, mm. So wet milled, so the coconut is wet when we actually press it. So when you press it, when you press a coconut, what comes out is milk, milk. coconut milk. Oh. Not the water. When you open a coconut oh. and you pour that liquid out, that's coconut water. So you just drink that up. You, yeah, you can drink that. But the coconut milk, you can drink that too. But um, you press, press that. And then what happens is a lot of people will um, boil it to, re to separate, separate the oil from the milk. Yeah. But mm -hmm. that means it's heated. So we yeah. don't do that. So, so we let it naturally separate in a cold room. And then we get the oil and you off, skim it off, and the then you top. skim it off the top. That's that's how we process it. That's why the oil that we make is. Uh, I mean, you don't get as much as as you would if you boiled it. Then the difference too is they expel or press their dried coconut meat. Their coconut meat that's dried and rehydrated, they use expeller pressing, so that generates heat as well about 250 degrees so that's so additional technically heat. it's not really cold it's pressed. not cold pressed technically but so that's why we mean. see cold pressed on your bottles it really yes, it pressed. is it yeah. is and so that's a difference but unfortunately on um, the term cold pressed isn't regulated by the usda here in the u.s or any place so Anyone can really put cold press on the label, but that is very deceiving. Um, another uh, term that's not regulated is virgin, the term virgin. So mm -hmm. our coconut oil is virgin, meaning it's unrefined. That's the definition of virgin coconut oil. That means we don't use bleach or hexanes or any chemicals or to solvents. Or so solvents to remove the oil, which is a, a lot of companies do. They're mm -hmm. partially refined because you get more oil that way. But right. what people don't know is for partially refined oils, you can still put the term virgin on the bottle because that's not regulated either. And in fact, some companies go even further and put extra virgin on their coconut yes. oil, which means absolutely nothing. And the <laughs> coconut oil, 
that the, the term extra virgin in the olive oil industry means something. That means yeah. first press because you can press olives multiple times. So the mm. first press means virgin in olive oil, but in coconuts, it means nothing. So that's again, another mar marketing ploy yeah, when they say extra. Virgin. Yeah. Which is really, really deceiving. So mm. all those differences in manufacturing and that the way we um, harvest it and, and the way it's not um, dry, that makes a huge difference in the, in the levels of um, fatty acids that you get in coconut oil. So basically, there's really three types of coconut oil. There's um, cosmetic grade coconut oil, which is highly refined. So a lot of this, they use um, refined oil. They use it in shampoos and conditioners, lotion, lotion. lotion. yeah, and mm -hmm. soap. Then you have um, what we consider a food grade coconut oil, which um, can be partially refined. It doesn't have to be 100% refined, but it is partially refined. It, they don't, they're not concerned about the levels of lauric, caprylic, and capric acid. So these are the oils that you can use to cook with. A lot of this cooking oil sometimes barely has any smell of coconut. So the levels mm -hmm. of lauric acid, the fat, medium chain fatty acids are a lot lower and the cooking grade oils that you would find in a grocery, a grocery store. store. That's probably what your um, customers are asking about. Now, yep. um, for our oil, the way we make it, um, it's the way it's made, it has higher levels of lauric acid, caprylic and capric acid, which is the medium chain acids that we want. And that's why it's so highly effective. In fact, um, in our bottles, I wish we had one here, and the front, in the front label, it says high lauric acid on it. And um, you can't necessarily put that on a label with the FDA unless you, you, test, for you test for it. And it's written on the label, the percentages of the lauric, caprylic, and capric acid. So you could actually pick up our bottle of coconut oil and point those, those things in the label out and tell them to go to the grocery store and look for the levels of fatty acids, which they won't find because mm. they, they don't need to, they test, don't need for to test for it. So... Um, that is such good information. 